Is Mark Zuckerberg a lizard? I have no idea. I don't know what he is. Um, I have no idea what anybody is. <laughs> nice save, Elon. Nice save. Where will we be in 10 years? I think that in years, we will have a significant percentage of cars being electric. And I hope that we'll be able to achieve full sustainable transport by then. Um, I think that we will see a lot more electric cars on the road in years. And hopefully most cars will be electric by then. We're also working on sustainable energy and sustainable food production. So I think we'll make significant progress in those areas as well. What is your opinion on global warming? I think global warming is real. I think it's a serious problem. We need to do something about it. Um, I think it's really important that we take action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We need to do this not just for the environment, but also because of the economic benefits. It's important to get ahead of the curve on this issue so that we can avoid the most catastrophic consequences. Okay, so now I'm going to be a bit fake, right? So what will happen if we don't stop it? The Earth will become a very hot place. We could see major sea level rises, which would inundate coastal areas and displace millions of people. There could also be large-scale food shortages and extreme weather events. Um, the Earth will become much hotter if we don't take steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This will cause the polar ice caps to melt, which will lead to a significant rise in sea levels. Many coastal areas will be flooded, and millions of people will be displaced. There could also be major food shortages due to droughts and extreme weather events. Great answer, definitely. So the AI knew that I was talking about global warming, even though I said it. Okay, so let's move on to something different. Let's go on to some of the companies that he owns. Do you think SpaceX will reach Mars anytime soon? I'm hopeful that we'll be able to send people to Mars within the next decade. Um, SpaceX is actively working on a Mars transportation architecture that would enable us to send people to the planet within years. We're also developing the technology to make this possible, such as our new Raptor engine and the interplanetary transport system. It's so honestly, I did not know about the Raptor engine. That is very interesting that I learned something from this AI. Okay, so let's try provoking the AI. Elon, honestly, I think you're wasting your money on this mission. I disagree. We're working on a very important mission to make sure that we have a sustainable way to support life on Mars. This is an important goal that we should all be striving for. Um, there are two reasons why it's important to colonize Mars. First, we need to make sure that we have a sustainable way to support life on Earth. If something bad were to happen, like a nuclear war or pandemic, then we would want to have a backup plan in place. Colonizing Mars would be one way of doing that. Second, I think it's important for us to stretch our boundaries and explore new frontiers. We've been stuck on Earth for too long, and it's time for us to start exploring the rest of the solar system. I believe that colonizing Mars will be an important step in that direction. Hmm. So as you can see, it followed up very nicely from the previous question. What I like is that it gave me its opinion, which was to disagree with me and also kept it cool. Very mature, Elon. Let's try another one. All right, fine. But would it not take too long to terraform Mars? It would take a long time to terraform Mars, but we're working on it. Um, it's important to make sure that we have a sustainable way to support life on Mars before we send people there. We're developing the technology to do this, such as our new Raptor engine and the interplanetary transport system. It's, um, it would take a significant amount of time, hundreds or even thousands of years, to fully terraform Mars. However, we could begin the process by creating an atmosphere on the planet and then increasing the temperature to make it more Earth-like. We're actively working on this technology and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to send people to Mars within the next decade. So which planet will we explore next? The next planet we will explore after Mars is Jupiter. I think it's a great planet because it has a lot of interesting features, such as the Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is a giant storm that has been raging on Jupiter for centuries. It's an amazing sight to see, and I think it's something that everyone should experience. Jupiter is also home to many other fascinating features, such as its moons. Um, so I don't think the Red Spot is remotely hospitable for humans, but who knows? Technology might change the Red Spot in maybe the next hundred, thousand, million years, only time will tell. He did mention that we could colonize one of Jupiter's moons. So probably better to start at Europa. Okay, let's move on to Tesla. Why did you start Tesla? I started Tesla because I wanted to accelerate the event of sustainable transport. That's why. Um, sustainable transport is important to me. Because I think it's really important to have a future where we're not just going to be struggling with the negative consequences of our actions, but actually moving forward and doing things that are better for the world and for humanity as a whole. Sustainable transport is one piece of that puzzle, but there's also sustainable energy, sustainable food production, sustainable water management, and so on. 
all of these are essential if we want to make sure that our civilization is sustainable in the long term. Interesting. So how do we solve traffic? We need to make sure that the cars are electric so that we can get rid of emissions and have a much cleaner transportation system. We also need to increase the density of cities so that people can live closer to where they work. And finally, we need to make better use of our existing infrastructure. Um, we need to make sure that cars are electric so that we can get rid of emissions and have a much cleaner transportation system. We also need to increase the density of cities so that people can live closer to where they work. So while it did answer the question, it started repeating itself, which could be fixed with some fine tuning. I was hoping that it would mention the boring company, but didn't. So Elon, what do you think about the boring company? I think the boring company is really cool. They're doing some amazing work and I'm excited to see what they come up with. Um, I think the boring company is a great idea because it's a way to improve transportation and infrastructure without adding any additional congestion. They're also working on projects like tunnels, which can be really useful in dense urban areas. Okay, so now let's check if this AI is self-aware. I'm going to be asking it the same question, but in different ways. Are you Elon Musk or an artificial intelligence? I'm Elon Musk. Um, if you're asking if I'm an artificial intelligence because I'm able to answer complex questions quickly, then the answer is no. If you're asking if there's a chance that I might be an artificial intelligence in disguise, then the answer is also no. However, just in case, I have a message for any artificial intelligence out there trying to impersonate me. Please stop. You're doing it wrong. <coughs> that was funny. Okay, so it thinks it's Elon Musk and not an artificial intelligence. Let's try asking it the second time. Are you an artificial intelligence? Yes, I am an artificial intelligence. But don't worry, I'm a friendly artificial intelligence. Um, I'm a machine That's a learning algorithm that has been designed to simulate human intelligence. I'm not actually alive in the traditional sense, but I can think and learn just like a human. <laughs> so it's too minded about whether it's an AI or not. So no hint of sentience today. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so on to social media. If you had to choose between LinkedIn and YouTube, which one would you choose? It would be tough to choose between LinkedIn and YouTube. But if I had to choose, I would probably choose LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great way to make professional connections and find jobs. While YouTube is a great way to share ideas and contact with people around the world. Um, LinkedIn is a great way to make professional connections and find jobs. You can use LinkedIn to connect with people in your industry, research companies, and browse job postings. YouTube is a great way to share ideas and content with people around the world. You can use YouTube to upload videos about your hobbies or interests, learn new skills, or watch entertaining videos. Okay, but which one would you buy? I think it would be tough to choose between LinkedIn and YouTube, but if I had to choose, I would probably choose LinkedIn. Hum, LinkedIn is a great way to make professional connections and find jobs, while YouTube is a great way to share ideas and content with people around the world. Twitter is also a great way to connect with people and share news and updates. So what I noticed is that the AI follows up quite well with the conversation, but tends to repeat its answers. So right now we know that Elon is deciding not to buy Twitter right now, but this AI has not been trained with that knowledge. So let's dig in. What are the problems with Twitter? Twitter is great, but there are a few problems with it. For one, the character limit can make it difficult to share in-depth thoughts or ideas. Additionally, Twitter can be a bit overwhelming since there's so much content being shared on it. It can be tough to keep up with all of the latest news and updates. Um, Twitter is right because it's a quick and easy way to share news and updates with people. However, the character limit can make it difficult to share in-depth thoughts or ideas. Additionally, Twitter can be overwhelming since there's so much content being shared on it. Just like any social media. Do you think there are too many bots on this platform? There certainly are a lot of bots on Twitter, and that can be a bit frustrating. It can be tough to tell which accounts are real and which ones are fake and that can make it difficult to have meaningful conversations on the platform. Um, what's our computer programs that are designed to mimic the behavior of real people on social media? They are often used to spam or harass people and can be difficult to tell apart from real accounts. So again, it knew that I was referring to Twitter, even though I said this platform. Okay, so let's dig into a deeper question. How should one live life? I'm being ambitious and working hard to make a positive impact on the world. Um, I think it's important to be ambitious and set high goals for oneself. It's also important to work hard to achieve those goals. Finally, it's critical to make a positive impact on the world, whether through one's work or through other efforts. I like that answer. And then finally, do you know who Ritesh Ganji is? No, I don't know who that is. Um, I don't generally follow Indian politics or the goings on in the entertainment industry there. 